All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, in today's video, this is coming from my girl Antaliza. Antalasia. Look, I don't know how to say her name. Okay, it's in the link description box below if y'all want to check out the original video. But this right here is I got kicked out of an LGBTQ. T I P I T O N. I'm just playing with y'all. But uh, LGBTQ Pride Store. Okay, so without further ado, man, hit that like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. I will give all my thoughts at the end of the video, but I want to enjoy the video with y'all. So, yeah, all thoughts and everything like that will be at the end of the video. So, yeah, without further ado, man, stick around. Let's get it. Let's go. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Wow. Is this your store? <laughs> okay, cool. So can I do a quick interview with you? Explore places and I interview uh, places. Okay, so you have a YouTube channel. Yes. Okay. Um, sure, yeah. Okay. Right, Here you wanna, you may see our fine glass. Rafi's on sale on Black Friday, so come by. <laughs> <laughs> Who place are you? Sexy Sue's Couples Boutique. That is sick. That is sick. She has a random deal. Okay. Yeah, I heard that. Who are you today? I'm Holly. Okay. I'm the, yeah, I'm the manager here. Oh, wow, that's yeah. great. So how long have you worked here? I've been here for 14 years. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah. The question is, what is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of life? Just wake up breathing every day, get it done. There is no purpose, huh? No purpose? Okay. <laughs> no, they didn't, they didn't tell us, they didn't give us a manual when we were born. <laughs> so you just kind of make it up as you go. Every day is different. Right, right, right. So what um, about afterlife? What about it? Yeah, like, what you think about it? Like, Everybody, you know what I'm saying, have your own thoughts. Afterlife. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Just when you get there? I guess. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So, well, I know you've probably heard of heaven and hell. Let's say you die right now. Would you go to heaven or hell? No clue. No clue? I don't know. I have another question for you. Um, how many genders are there? How? I would guess infinite. Infinite? 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 I, I mean, people wake up every morning with something else in their head. So I would say, how many genders? I don't know. I'd have to like map it out. <laughs> it's hard to tell because- You can identify as anything, right? You can, well, not anything. I mean, you can't identify as a dog. Oh, you can't? I heard somebody identify as a cat. I heard they do. Maybe they've oh, got, crazy. maybe they've got issues. I don't know. <laughs> Now we don't we don't really subscribe to any gender here at the shop at least. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. No, we have. No, we don't. Yeah, we don't do that kind of stuff here. We don't. Well, we do have, for simplicity, we have a men's section, and we have you know, toys for the clitoris and toys for the vagina and toys for the labia. And but, that's for who? The women? Well, it depends on what you want. Well, you I mean, just. You, but you just said it was two genders. The, no, there's pretty much infinite genders. I think it depends, it really depends. People come here, a lot of men, and everybody come here? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Why do you think it's crazy? I didn't know a lot of people come here. I never really seen these around yeah. too much. How did you hear about Sexy Sue? I just came right past it. I was like, wow, I never seen a star like this. And you were just gonna, you just decided to pop in? And I said, I wanna interview whoever's in there. Okay. Cool. But, um, Who else are you interviewing? I went to um, the mall, I was interviewing people in there, mm -hmm. and this is my last stop. But I just want to ask you one more question. But you said if you die right now, you wouldn't even know where you're going to go at, right? I pretty much the brain shuts off and whatever anybody wants to do with my body is up to them. I have no idea. Have you ever read the Bible? No. No? So do you believe in God? No. So you're atheist? Yes. I atheist? don't, no, I don't believe in like any kind of God. Well, I mean, there's a lot of gods. <laughs> it is. So I, I pretty much believe in none of them including the one that you know most people subscribe to i don't believe in that one either which god which one i don't know whichever one that like the popular one <laughs> so, <laughs> actually so, i'm not really sure which the popular one is con <coughs> considering the religion here in the bible belt is christianity so yeah. they believe in that god but i don't think that's the biggest one out there who do you think the biggest god is I don't have no idea. Who do you think the God is who made the heavens and the earth and the seas and the skies? The God oh, which, oh, which the God, God is that? I think, yeah, I don't know. 
I guess that would kind of be the, the God of the Bible. The, yeah, what everybody talks about. Yeah. So what you just said was God of the Bible is the most highest God because he's the one who created everything. But you know what I'm saying? The Bible says, I actually believe in the Bible. I actually am a Christian. But the Bible says the, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So if we continue to live out in sin and live contrary to God's belief, then we will go to hell. If we die not, we will go to hell. But the good news is that Jesus, he died for our sins, so we don't have to. We can trust the what he did on the cross, which is die for our sins, which is judgment from hell, and we can live holy and righteously. What God or the Bible want us to do is live righteously for him. He's come back soon, and he said he come back for a bride without spot or a blemish. So he come back for a holy people. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. That's crazy. That's interesting. It's crazy. That's crazy. What you think about that? That's <laughs> crazy. Have you ever heard that before? I don't think so. Uh, no, I mean, I've heard it, like, in movies and things like that, but... That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. But yeah, it's... God God loves you. You get what I'm saying? And he's the most highest God. He's the God that created everything. And he wants a relationship with you. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy. He wants a relationship <laughs> with you because he loves you and he made you. He said he knows every hair that was on your head. He knows everything That's... about you. That's sounding crazier and crazier. It's in the Bible, and the Bible is real. Cause he came, he changed my life. I had an encounter with God in my room. Oh, that is really crazy. Yes. I'm so glad I have this on tape. <laughs> I had an encounter with God in my room. I actually was living in an LGBT lifestyle, and he came to me. I wasn't even seeking him, and he told me that my sin was separating me from him. And I didn't even know what that meant. I never even read the Bible. Before. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what that would mean either. I didn't know what that meant. I did some? Up. Did somebody come and um, like ask you? to change your way like change like a per like a human being no nobody ever told just me to, what i was doing was wrong just a ghost. except for god it wasn't a ghost i felt his love his presence ghosts don't no ghost to ever make you feel a tangible love and presence like that i felt a ball of love right, you're crazy. and i was doing lgbt and he told me to turn away from me he said my sin was so i wouldn't i me. would not follow that i would be real careful with that real careful because that's crazy i'm sure for the win <laughs> wow she said i will be real careful with that because it sounds crazy oh y'all i'm i'm feeding right now like i feel like a bro i feel like a real life crackhead right now trying to trying to hold back my thoughts but i just want to enjoy the video with y'all fam but man oh my gosh she's bro she's talking wild i mean bro, she's talking out the left side of her cheeks Th this is crazy now they got me saying this is crazy because they done said it so much in the video. This is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, that sounds crazy. You're... <sighs> Anyways, let's finish the video. Ooh. Okay, y'all. I'm sitting here. I'm editing the video. I paused the video right when I felt wind. Listen to this. It was a cold breeze. This was not the first time I, I felt that cold breeze. I felt it about three times. Two during church and one time in my prayer closet. In those times, I was talking and worshiping God. Boom, I felt the wind again. So much demonic oppression in that store. That is a sexually perverted store with sexual objects. Demons cling on to those things. This woman, she is filled and being tormented with demons. You can see it in her eyes. Demons want her to be blinded by the truth. She kept saying, it was crazy, it was crazy. That's when God came to me. He was showing me you in the battle for her soul. So I need y'all to pray for her. Pray that God would take the blinders off her eyes. The Bible says that God of this world, the devil, he has blinded the masses from knowing the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is their salvation. We want them to live with a lack of knowledge all the way to hell. So pray for her. God is real. He's a healer. He is deliverer. He is king, man. He is king, man, I'm telling you. What you see in this video, the demon, is continue trying to downplay the gospel. You could tell she want to listen, but the demons in her trying to stop it. When came God telling me to keep going, keep talking, keep spreading truth. We are overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. See, the demons, they hate it. Demons are mad at me right now. They hate truth. The word of God is powerful. See, I'm preaching the word of God. The Bible says the word of God is sharper than a, two -edged, a double two-edged sword, piercing through the soul and spirit. That's what doing that is cutting her up. It's cutting those demons up, man. So like I said, man, keep watching the video, man. God is real. Man. He is coming back. Prepare yourself. Make yourself ready. He said he come back for people 
that has made their self ready. That means we have to make ourselves ready. We got to keep our lamps full of oil. The Bible said that he will come like a thief in the night. There's five virgins that wasn't ready and five that was ready. The ones that wasn't ready, they went to hell. Be ready, man. Y'all see in full action a whole spiritual war going on. Pay attention. All right, man. Head back to the video. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, God loves you. You know what I'm saying? He could raise you, he raise everything. But sin separated us from him. If we die in our sins, we will not go to him in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Very crazy. Yes, man. It's real. It's real. Well, be careful out there because I don't know that whoever got you looped into this stuff. They're I'm guessing they're asking no for person. money. Are no, they asking for no, money? No person ever came to me and told me nothing like this. It was just God. Man. Just a. But you see, how I came in here. He wants. He wants to. He wants you to know that he's real yeah. and that he's the God who created you. Do you feel like you're a God? No, I'm not God at all. No, a God. No, because I'm mortal. We mortal. Yeah. Part of part of God? If somebody comes shoot me right God? now, what's gonna happen? <laughs> are you part of God? Yes, you are too. He made you. Okay. He said we so are you're made part, we are made part of, of a image. God. He said we are made of his image. In his image. But what's the image like? His image? Yeah, what does it look like? It's like human? It looks like us. So I it's guess, human. I'm assuming. Yeah. No, he's a God. He's spirit. But he created us in his image. Okay. Yes. Okay. I would yeah, like like I said, I've been around for a while. 58 years on this planet. Just be careful. Have you never heard that before? I have heard some of it, but usually it's, you know, in like, I don't know, churches and places like that. You want to have your own encounter with God? The God who created the heavens and earth and the, and the seas and the skies, do you want a real encounter with him? Do you want to know him? Because no. you can, we have access to him. <laughs> like on a microphone on your YouTube channel no what you mean like how do you have access to something he's everywhere around us he's with you no I matter what like air I mean he's a spirit <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy like you said a ghost but he's not a ghost he's a spirit yeah that I, I don't know you guys just be careful so you you, you don't want to meet meet God no I'm, I'm, I'm fine living the wow. lifestyle that I am wow. <laughs> but thank you I appreciate right, no your problem, time man. You have a great one. You too. Yeah, be, again, be careful. We've got what you think is spirits in your head, all that floating around. I don't know. So I'm not sure what <laughs> what you're hearing, what you're seeing, but you know, it's demonic spirits too that leads you away from God. So yeah, I don't believe in that either. People have people have demons too. So the same thing. Yeah. If you're not living for God, I'm pretty sure yeah. you, you don't it. hear it. If if you're hearing things or seeing things that aren't there, it is there. The spirit realm is more real than this realm. Yeah, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. crazy. You got to deepen your mind. Crazy. But <laughs> I pray for you. Need to pray for anything? Uh, a youth. Well, intentional. Yeah, intentional thinking. Sure, pray for whatever you want. I right, come. Let's pray. Well, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not joining in that kind of stuff. No, no. Okay. But I'm curious though. What, like. Write down your um, channel. I'm, I'm curious to see what you're going to put on it. Yeah, you need to follow it, man, for really. You know what I'm saying? Because God don't really condone these things. You think that it would condone these things? What things? Like, the and things like that, the sexual things. You think he condoning that? What do I care about that? Because he's holy, and we have to be holy, too. No, honey. No? No. I'm telling you right now, God don't want you around this. You know what I'm saying? God don't want you to do things like this. And because this is against his law. I'm going to show you something. You like this. Have a good day. You just got escorted out here. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. First of all, shout out to Intelijah. Okay. I still can't say her name right. It'll be in the link description box below if y'all want to go see the original video. Fam, this video was, bro, it was amazing. Okay. The only reason it was amazing because the fact that she was able to plant that seed, okay? This lady, I think her name was Holly. She she doesn't know truth, okay? She's literally blind to truth. And a lot of you guys are blind to truth. I read the comments sometimes. Let me take these headphones off because I'm tired of hearing myself talk. But um, <laughs> I listen to, I, I, watch, I, I, I look at some of you guys' comments. And fam, a lot of y'all are blind just like she's blind, okay? 
And people don't see the spiritual realm because they just don't know truth. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you won't know the spiritual realm. You won't see into the spiritual realm. And people don't understand that the Bible even tells us that we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We're not fighting against flesh, uh, flesh and blood. This, this right here, this is not what we're fighting against. So when you see people that are super angry, when you see people that just, they, they feel like they just don't have, they, they feel like they have no purpose on this life. Like they just, you know what I'm saying? Like you ever met a person like that? Like a person that just really always mad and always just want to destroy something. Bro, that's not them. It's a demonic spirit living with this side. Of them. It's a demonic spirit manifested in them that's making them act the way they act. And people don't understand that because they're not in the spiritual realm. They don't see these things. They may think that we're sounding crazy until they realize like, yo, like everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. You know what I'm saying? And first of all, I just want to say, um, I, I think I said it, but shout out to Antalasia. Um, and secondly, Pray for Holly, bro. If you are a true believer in Christ, pray for Holly. Because in reality, a lot of people like her, she says she's been working at that job for 14 years. So that's 14 years of demons manifested in her. She don't even want to hear the truth. She said, I don't even want to join in prayer with you. She said that she don't even want to get to know God. She don't want to have, a, she don't want to get a chance to have a supernatural encounter with God. You know what I'm saying? And it was a, it's a couple of points I wrote down. Number one, she said there's infinite genders. I, I'm going to cut that out right now, bro. There's it's only two genders, fam. Two genders. That's it. You you could talk about sex and genders are different. There's only two genders, fam. Okay, male and female. God created male and female. He didn't create male, female, and and, 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 and trans male. He didn't create none of that, bro. He didn't create no non-binary. All that is man-made. All that came after the fact. Like, no, God only created male and female. Uh, one of the things that she did say that I want to mention was she said, uh, well, it's one of these scriptures that is it's a scripture that came to my head when, when she was talking about how she didn't want to hear the word of God and she didn't want to join it to prayer. The Bible tells us that we, that my people will perish for the lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? When you don't see, and she's talking about how wise she is and how she had all these years on earth, you can have as many years on earth as possible, but you could still not be as wise. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got all these years on earth, you may be wise in like a physical sense and know about the physical things and know about, you know, relationships and, and other things that, you know, on this earth like you may be wise in the temporary in a temporary life but are you wise in the spiritual life you know what i'm saying are you wise enough to tell me about jesus christ are you wise enough to tell me about who god truly is are you wise to tell me that i'm not fighting against flesh and blood but i'm fighting against spiritual uh spiritual uh, principalities are you like wise enough to tell me that are you wise enough to tell me that every day is a spiritual warfare we say that oh man i'm fighting demons it's a spiritual warfare going on and people don't see that like are you wise enough to tell me about these things or are you just wise enough to tell me about the things i may face in life such as going through breakups such as you know what i'm saying uh watching porn or you know like certain things that 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 young men or even young women may go through as growing up you're wise enough to tell me about those things but you're not wise enough to tell me about the things of god and that's what you need to be wise in you know what i'm saying it, it, it's a whole different ball game when you when you're telling me about the things of god and not the things of this world I don't care about you being wise in the things of this world. Be wise in the things of God because that's what I need to know. This is truth. A lot of people don't see that, y'all, bro. It's time to repent. It's time to turn away from sin. Y'all keep living in sin, bro. And y'all so comfortable in her y'all sin. She's so comfortable in her sin that she didn't want to join in prayer. She didn't want to have no supernatural encounter. She kept saying, Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. If you if you believe that it's it's spirits and stuff talking in your head, that ain't nothing but the devil. That ain't nothing but the demons that's manifesting in her, that's blinding her from the truth. That ain't nothing but them. Trust and believe me. When she have a supernatural encounter, she would realize that, man, God is truly real. I had a supernatural encounter, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got delivered from a demonic spirit that was manifested in me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have these supernatural encounters. I had multiple supernatural encounters where I would be in God's I would be in God's presence and I'm just worshiping him and praying and I would just ball out in tears because the Holy Spirit, it was just a love that I never felt before. It's just like, and that, that's what uh, Antalasia mentioned is the, the love of God, the peace of God. That's something different, bro. A lot of people don't understand that. Like I be in God's presence sometimes. It's been times where I have been in God's presence and it's just like, I can't explain the love. It, it, was, it didn't feel like my mother's love. 
It didn't feel like my my dad loved. It didn't feel like none of that. It felt just, it, it was like a love that, like, it was like a touch that I never felt before. And I would just start bawling out in tears, bawling out in tears. And I'm not thinking about nothing. I'm not trying to think about something that can make me cry. I'm literally just in the presence of God. And this is what happens. You see what I'm saying? Like, people don't understand that, man. The love of God is real. And people don't see, people never had, people never had the experience with it. So they don't believe it. But when you truly seek after God, because the Bible tells us that if we, if we, um, if we seek after him, you know what I'm saying? If we draw near to him, he would draw near to us. That's what the Bible tells us. Draw near to him and he will draw near to you. That's exactly what the word of God say. So we need to be drawn near to him. If we really want to seek truth, then we need to draw near to him. You can go pray to your little Muhammad. You can go pray to your Buddha. You can go pray to your Allah. You can go pray to all these false gods. All these false gods you can go pray to, but nothing happens. Muslims never had a supernatural encounter with, 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 with their God that they're serving. They didn't have that supernatural encounter. You know what I'm saying? Catholics, they worship, they, 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 they pray to Mary and the saints and all that. They never had a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ. And they don't know how to love a God truly feels because they're praying to the wrong, they're praying to the wrong gods. Muslims praying to the wrong gods. Buddha, they're Buddhists, they're praying to the wrong gods. So of course they never had this supernatural encounter. We need to, people that are not following God, if you really want to find truth, you got to be humble and honestly open your heart up to reality and be like, look, I want to seek truth. There has to be a God because who created the heavens and the, who created the heavens and the skies, who created the clouds, who created the birds. There has to be some type of creator of this world. But who is that creator? Because you got these people worshiping this creator, that person worshiping this creator. Which one is which? You talking about this multiple gods? No, there's only one true holy God. People have made other gods. The devil is the god of these false religions. These false religions, how do you know these are false religions? What if these are real religions? How I know it's false religions? Read the word. Read their word and look how look how hateful it is. Look how hateful it is. If you want to serve a God that is so hateful, and also we can look at it like this. A lot of these religions came thousands and thousands of years after the, the number one religion is Christianity. A lot of these religions came after that. You know what I'm saying? Muslim came, what, 500 some years after that? I want you guys to understand that this is not about religion. Okay, so I'm editing this and I and I can tell that like, okay, I probably could confuse a lot of people because I'm talking about religions. It's not about religion, y'all. Religion is man-made, okay? Religion is man-made. I want everybody to understand that, that it's man-made. So don't think that I'm specifically talking about, oh man, the religion isn't religion. No, no, I'm not, okay? I'm not. I'm just telling y'all the simple facts. I'm not saying that, number, that Christianity was the first religion. I'm not saying that at all. That's not how I'm trying to come off. What I am saying, though, is that you have a lot of religions that are coming after Christianity. Why? Because this is the number one true religion. How is this the number one true religion? Look at every other religion and look at the years that it came after. Look at their Bibles and look how things was taken from the Holy Bible to be put into their Bibles. And this is what the devil does, okay? The devil always twists up God's word. You know what I'm saying? He always take one thing of God's word, twist it up and make it, make it good or make it comfortable to your feelings, to your feelings. You know what I'm saying? That's what the devil does. You know what I'm saying? Same thing he did in the Garden of Eden. You know what I'm saying? He took God's word, okay. He asked Eve, Did God really say that you shouldn't eat from this? I'd be like, He's literally, this is the devil. He's a manipulator, bro. That's why manipulation is a big sin, bro, because that's what that is what the devil is. He's a manipulator. He manipulates people into believing something that's really not true. So y'all be open, man. Y'all, y'all keep your eyes open for real. You know what I'm saying? But, anyways, back to the video, man. It's almost done. I love y'all. Let's go. And then they then come later and say, Oh, Jesus Christ is not the son of God. How are you going to tell me that Jesus Christ is not the son of God when your word, when your Bible came 500 years later? That's like me coming 500 years later after LeBron James and saying LeBron James wasn't really LeBron James. He was a, he was a, uh, a black Israelite. I don't know, man. Something stupid, bro. It's just like, come on now. Let's be real. But in all honesty, bro, uh, <laughs> seriously, pray for Holly, man. If you are a true believer in Christ, man, pray for Holly she need it okay she truly needs it because 14 years of working at that sex store trust me she is man it's so many demons manifested in her 
she needs deliverance okay <laughs> she needs honest deliverance from all these sexual perversion uh spirits that's in her the blind the blinders that she has on like bro just ask god to open her eyes up to truth and allow her heart to be uh, un have a allow her heart to be understanding ears to hear she wasn't she was trying to hear but in reality bro all that was going one in after the other because she's so blinded to the fact that this woman came in there to preach the word of god to her the truth we all seeking peace in some way somehow but the only true peace you will find is in jesus christ that's the only peace you will find i have felt that peace i'm feeling that peace right now i feel if you knew what i was going through off youtube you would be like bro how are you in peace i'm at peace because i believe in my lord and savior that's how i'm at peace i'm telling y'all bro y'all think everybody's just so crazy and so delusional bro no 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 no. you gotta see it for yourself see it for yourself <laughs> but anyways man i love y'all bro i'm gonna go ahead and hop off this video hit that like button subscribe turn on post notifications hope each and every one of y'all enjoy y'all day i love y'all man god bless stay blessed peace